Okay, so this one, uh, for this question, it is on linear law. So read the question first. So this table shows uh, some population in million. Okay, and it is measured on the 1st January for every five years. So you need to take note. They start from 1995 and it's equivalent to x equal to zero. Then the next block of five years, 2000, it will be x equal to one. So it will be in an interval of five years. So this is what you need to realize first. Okay, and then the population is already in million. Okay, so first instruction, you are supposed to plot. So when you're supposed to plot, remember this one is your capital Y and this is your capital X. So do remember you actually need to form a new table. So you need to learn each of these number. So you need to learn each of these number to form a new table. And then you plot according to the table. Okay, so I'm using the answer key. So you yourself go and plot it. Okay, so after you plot it, okay, what is what are you supposed to do? The question the second part asks you for the gradient, and we need to express in this format. So they want us to express in this format after you manage to draw out the graph. So if you're not aware of like having a straight line, it's mx plus c. So in this question, it's something like uh, y equal to mx plus c. The y is actually ln p. The x will be the small letter x. And that's why we need the gradient. So we actually need to calculate the gradient. So you do your own calculation. So you do your own calculation. So you choose, you choose a point, you can choose the intercept, you choose some nine point to go and calculate the gradient. So I'm just using the answer key. So eventually if the gradient that you calculate, so maybe your gradient will differ a little bit. So follow the instruction, calculate the gradient first. The intercept, you do not need to calculate. If you look from the graph, the intercept is already 1.2. So if you would like to answer part two, part two asks you for gradient first, and then after that you use the mx plus c. So if you use the mx plus c, you will get 0.123x plus 1.2. So if you can get the gradient insert into the capital mx plus c, you are actually correct. So you take the gradient from your straight line and the intercept from your straight line. Now, if I need to change it to this format, that will be your logarithm. So how are you going to use your logarithm to, to be in this format? Okay, so don't forget what is the base for ln. Ln is base E. Okay, so ln is base E. So you can change it out, get rid of the ln. Okay, so you realize that here, this format, it doesn't have any ln at all. So you've got to change it out. So you change it out. The whole thing here becomes the power. And you, you actually need to squeeze out a constant. So your constant will be squeezed out if you apply indices. So if you apply indices. So it, Usually in our indices, when we multiply same base, when we multiply same base, we will add the power. So now I'm going to do the reverse. So I'm going to do the reverse and I actually got a multiplication. And this will be the constant A. So this will be the constant A that you punch out on your calculator. 
So if you punch out on your calculator, you will get 3.32. So this part is the constant. So you get 3.32 E 0.123 F. So because you make use of the gradient and the intercept, you come up with the formula. So this is the formula for the population. And this will be the X for the number of five years. So after this, you can make use of the formula to calculate. The, we are supposed to find the first year where the population exceeds 8. That means right, P is equal to 8. So you can put in P equal to 8 directly into your equation. Okay, so I'm going to do my part 3 here. So I can put in P equal to 8 into the equation. Or you can put in the answer key, they put it back into the mx plus b equation. So also can, you can put ln 8 equal to 0 0.123x plus 1.2, whichever that you feel easier for you to find x. So if you put it inside, that's exactly like what the answer key is doing. So if you find that this is easier to do, to find x, then you can go ahead. But if you prefer to put it into this format, it is also workable. Okay, so you just have to divide the 3.32 and then you got to long both sides. So you got to long both sides. Okay, so then you get 0 0.123x equal to long. You can punch calculator, then you divide by 0 0.123. You will still get the same x. So you can put p equal to 8 into the this format or this format, whichever that is easier for you to solve for x. Okay, so there are some amount of log here. So, so if you can get the straight line, get the gradient, get the intercept, okay, put it back into the MX plus D format and do some log. So maybe the log is a more difficult one. 